Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Today we're going to talk about two easy methods that you can use to propagate rosemary. Now rosemary is a great plant for the garden. You can use it as kind of an evergreen planting. It's herbal. Uh, you can use it for all kinds of different things. For example, we will take these leaves off of here and we'll use it in a rosemary dipping sauce that we use with our spaghetti. Um, so just with olive oil and rosemary and a few other herbs and spices put into it. And it's really tasty to use and you just kind of sop it up with your bread and stuff. Uh, the other thing you can do with them, if you get a, more of a longer steak, and these aren't a good example of that, but if you can get them longer and taller, you can actually strip the leaves off them and use that uh, branch as a skewer to cook things on the grill. Uh, it's definitely a really cool plant. And it grows for several years. It's perennial. It's kind of a shrub, so it's going to last for a very long time as long as you take care of it. It doesn't really like to get wet feet, so you don't want to put it in a soggy spot. I've had several plantings, in fact some right over here behind where the camera area is, and when they got too wet, they died. So you can keep it in a pot like I've got it here so you can kind of control the moisture different, or you can just amend the soil a little bit so that you've got good drainage going into that soil area. A nice compost mix will be fine. Keep in mind, they are a Mediterranean plant and they like that kind of an environment. So if you can simulate that environment in your area, in your garden, uh, using whatever zone of garden that you've got, and just kind of adapt to that situation for the plant, it'll work out fine. But rosemary is a really easy one to root. So let me show you exactly what we're gonna do here with these cuttings. We're going to take a piece here that is about six inches long, just like this. We're going to a little closer for you. So you can see here, you've got lots of different nodes on here. Every This is just how it kind of forms. It creates these nodes all the way along where those leaves are coming out. So we're going to take about half of that, and we're going to come right here, and we're just going to strip off the bottom half like that. So you can see that cutting right here. You've got half of the leaves removed and half of them left on. And this, of course, you can use for your dinner or your baking, whatever you want to do. Just save it. And then we're going to take a little bit of rooting hormone, which I keep in a little jar. And I'm just going to sprinkle some on the bottom, just like that. And I'm going to put it into a little pot. You see I've already got one right there. And this pot is about a three inch pot. And I can probably get four or five cuttings in here. And I'm just going to gently stick it in. It is pre-wet. And the medium that I'm using this time is a combination of peat and fine bark shavings. Uh, you can find them labeled usually as a soil conditioner in the box stores. So a little goes a long way. It's half and half mix. There's a lot of combinations of soil mediums you can use for this and be successful. So just because you don't have this doesn't mean you can't do it. You could use sand, you could do it in another method, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to fill this up with several cuttings. Now, is rooting hormone absolutely necessary? No, not at all. These grow really easily without the rooting hormone, so if you don't have that, don't worry about it. The key is just to keep it a little bit damp, not completely soggy, but you don't want them to dry out. And rosemary is very good because it can tolerate a little bit more of the drying out part. So I'm going to do four cuttings and I've got two pots here into which I'm going to do one pot and it's all going to be simply the rooting hormone. Because I'm curious how much better rooting hormone will do on a rosemary cutting if it's actually needed or not. So may as well try it while we're doing it. Now. I would stick them exactly the same way without the rooting hormone. So let me go on and do a few cuttings from that. And you can actually take several of these at one time. And what's going to result after I've done these cuttings on this plant is everywhere I've taken a cutting from, it's going to split off two new branches. So this plant is going to result in a much larger rosemary plant. And again, I'm just going to do that where I strip it down and stick them. And we'll do that for another four cuttings. So we have even odds for both the rooting hormone and without rooting hormone. So now I've got eight potential rosemary plants 
we're ready to go. The next method, which I've done before and is very successful, is water. So you can easily do it in water. The only thing you need to do different is probably have a little bit more in the actual water. And I may have too much water in this particular cup right now, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. And I probably don't want the leaves to be under the water. That's about right. And just keep it like that. Now you can fill up with several cuttings for that. Do it the same way. And just pop them in. Now, I'm not a huge fan of doing things in water. It's an easy way to kind of start off with plant propagation. But the reason I don't like doing stuff in water is because when you have an area here that you want to have roots forming on, you want to simulate the environment as closely as possible to where those roots are going to form. And if you have a cup like this where light can get all around it, it's not going to have that dark environment that it would if it were buried in the soil, more like one of these. Either method can be successful. I just think this method is going to root faster. Uh, this probably will root the fastest because it has the rooting hormone. And this will root the slowest. But what's cool about this method is it's great for if you have kids that you're trying to demonstrate some sort of botanical information. If you're homeschooling, things like that. And you can show them how the roots form and how plant rooting actually works. Plus you can check its progress at any point in time. So that's basically all there is to rooting rosemary. It's real simple. You can do it. Piece of cake. Uh, remember, its environment that it likes to be in is very Mediterranean, so you want to plant these out in a similar environment to that and kind of treat them that way. I'm going to take these and I'm going to do them outside. They're going to be in the backyard over, I've got a Japanese maple tree I've been putting all my cuttings underneath, so it keeps a nice canopy of shade over top of it and things don't dry out too fast in there, but I water them daily, unless it rains, in which case somebody's already done that for me. So I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. I hope you enjoyed this. This is uh, propagating rosemary, two different methods through water and in the soil. Real easy to do. Go out and try it yourself. Tell me what the results are. And please like and subscribe. I'd love to show you more garden stuff as we go on. So, once again, thanks for watching.